Smith's Dock Company, Ltd., often referred to simply as Smith's Dock, was a British shipbuilding company. Topic history The company was originally established by Thomas Smith who bought William Rose Shipyard at St. Peter's in Newcastle-upon-Tyne in 1810 and traded as William Smith & Co. The company opened its dock in North Shields in 1851. One of the first ships to be launched at the yard was the Termagent in 1852. The company changed its name to Smith's Dock Co. In 1891, the company became associated with South Bank in Middlesbrough on the River Tees in northeast England, after opening an operation there in 1907. Smith's Dock increasingly concentrated its shipbuilding business at South Bank, with its North Shields yard being used mainly for repair work in particular oil tankers from 1909 onwards. Despite the shift of focus, the company's headquarters remained at North Shields. Smith's Dock built many ships that served during the Second World War, including trawlers that the Admiralty requisitioned and converted to armed trawlers of the Royal Naval Patrol Service, such as HMT Amethyst, or HMT Arab, in which Lieutenant Richard Stannard won the Victoria Cross. The yard also built tree-class trawlers for the Royal Navy including HMT Walnut, which later became a famous refugee ship in Canada. Smith's Dock are perhaps most famous for preparing the design of the Flower-class Corvette, an anti-submarine convoy escort of the Second World War celebrated in the novel The Cruel Sea. In 1966 Smith's Dock merged with Swan Hunter and Wigham Richardson to form Associated Shipbuilders, later to become Swan Hunter Group. In 1968, the company completed the first British-built and owned container ship, Manchester Challenge of 12,039 gross register tonnes, for operation on Manchester Liner's new container service to ports on the St. Lawrence Seaway, Canada. Canada. By 1971, the company had delivered three further ships of this design to Manchester liners. In 1983–1984 Smith Docks delivered two roll-on-roll-off ships for Brazilian owners. The South Bank shipyard on the River Tees finally closed in February 1987. See also List of shipbuilders and shipyards <laughs>